Aha! How is my hair today? Looking good? Yeah. Topic for this video is how to simplify everything. I want to inspire you today to just drop it. You know, imagine that you are traveling across the ocean with all these memories, all these bookshelves of stuff and music and things from the past, pictures, letters, an accumulation of things that come from your past, plus agendas about these incredible things that you want to achieve and those models of things that you have to do. And um, all that, all that complexity in your mind, all that complexity of the memories, of the emotions, of the traumas and the things that are stacked in your system, all that creates this, this vast field of of mind reality that you try to carry forward in your existence and sometimes it's just too much <clears throat> you know the idea that uh, life has to be perfect that it has to be matching a certain model that you might have in your in your mind you know this complexifies it drains you it makes you really tired there is the alternative which is to simply be in flow to simply be, simply be in the moment, in the present moment, going with, with what's alive in today's moment. And that's a very different way of doing things. So yes, you need, you know, you need structures in your life, you need sometimes jobs, you need family, you need something that is arranged. But in what is arranged there, sometimes the ability to simplify absolutely everything, simplify your administration, your administrative body, simplify the way you do things, the way you approach your life, the way you plan things, the way you plan your holidays, the way you relate to people, you know, it can be simplified to the extreme. Sometimes you might spend, you know, half an hour writing a very detailed answer to somebody that just sends you a question. And, you know, other times it might just be a one line message that actually is more appropriate to, to, uh, to the situation. So my invitation here is to look at ways where you can drop things that are actually contracting you, holding you back, that you carry on your shoulder, a little bit like this atlas, you know, carrying the world and trying to bring it to the top of the mountain and then this world keeps rolling down and he's trying again and again and again. You know, so the idea is this, the idea is that you carry a lot of things in your life that might no longer be useful to you. The idea is to activate emotional freedom to activate flow, to check into the day where you are at, what is alive, what is it that you need to keep on functioning on this planet in a healthy way, to tune into the spirit, to tune into flow and let go of agendas, let go of visions for your life, let go of perfectionism, this one is a big one, perfectionism, let go of trying to force things to be a certain way. When you expect life to be really within certain boxes of your mind, of your agendas, with very fixed agendas, very fixed visions of how things are supposed to be, you limit the flow, you limit your ability to tune into what is alive in the spirit. You see, we work with energies. You are not just an isolated being on this planet. You are connected all the time. So imagine that you're trying to manifest something that is not in the agenda of the greater good. That for some reason, by forcing this agenda on the planet or in your own life or on people around you, you are going to force something that is not meant to be happening or that there is a higher frequency or that there is a higher potential. To be manifested in your life and so this is it simplify everything bring back to the core bring back to the essence bring back to what matters most and let go of agendas visions ideas that might be too complex to carry Think about what you need, you know, again, you're on this ocean and what you need to navigate healthy, you need flexibility, you need movement, you need lightness. You need an ability to respond to what's alive at any given moment. So being a little bit more like a ninja in your life, 
you know, being able to move with what's alive is a great, powerful skill. It means flexibility rather than rigidity. It doesn't mean that perseverance is not important. It doesn't mean that sometimes sticking to a focused agenda is, might be important. But what I want you to do is just check into your life and ask you this simple question. Is there something that you are carrying right now, a vision or an agenda or something that you're trying to force into your life, into existence, force into other people, or force into the future, something that you carry from the past, something that you you know, that contracts you, that you could just drop it. Okay, this is the idea. It's a very simple one. And um, this is the invitation for today. Check in your own life. Check if there is something that you can really simplify that would cut through the chase. Instead of aiming for perfectionism in a certain area of your life, you know, wanting things to happen in a certain way, maybe you can simplify instead of this taking you two weeks to manifest, it might take you half a day. Yeah, think about it. It's a good one to, um, to check and to keep in mind how to simplify everything. It's an exciting thing. It's a very thrilling thing to do once you start going in that direction. I love you.